leaving Yellowknife behind, saying goodbye to snow and the sled dogs. Coming back to Vancouver. We're off to Cape Scott. Hiking and camping is what we have in mind. And see what kind of fun trouble we can get ourselves into. We need about four meals for dinner. Uh, maybe three lunches. Got some mashed potatoes? No, last time I had it, it, it melted and that really gave me a bad memory about that. I uh, got some sweet and sour pork. Thai saute with beef. You don't know what this is for? To keep the bears away. So we're waiting in the Horseshoe Bay Terminal and we're hoping to catch the set, the first fair that's come here. It's the Queen of Oak Bay. Okay, uh, we have Howard right here, AKA um, our driver, and also the bear hunter. And uh, we have a friend tagging along, and Jimmy. Little Miss Sunshine's asleep. Finally we are doing this. I look forward to this trip for a very long time and I really hope we all get to share great moments together. When we get to Nanaimo, we have to travel five hours north of Vancouver Island. As we hit the road, there was a lot to see along the way. The weather was gorgeous and we ran into some wildlife and some beautiful scenery. We're gonna be uh, delayed behind schedule because we had to stop at a gas station. You open this, dude? Yeah. That's mine. I know. We'll stop it. Yeah, there's there's nothing left in here. The last hour ride was brutal. The road was bumpy as hell, but hey, we're finally here. Oh my god, that, that road was horrible. So I'm talking about the toilet paper. Man. There's something else living in here. Oh. Yes. Have fun. At least you're not leave, uh, using leaves, dude. Dude, there's a spider crawling the bottom of the seat. First night we're camping out in the back of our canopy of our truck. And we'll push on from here. Here we come, wilderness.
mosquitoes everywhere. Thousands of mosquitoes everywhere. So we have a swamp right down there. And they just like infest. Uh, oh, Jesus. These guys are a bunch of wankers. They're not professional. I'm gonna teach them a few things about hiking. Stay tuned. Survive this hike. So, I've tried to film as much as we can, as long as we don't fall apart. You got it. So, back there, mucky swamp, I well, and I ate it already. Me too. The trail's pretty muddy. You see a single large plank on the top of the mud, and when you step on it, the whole thing just sinks, and you're like, oh crap. <laughs> we finally have a lake coming up. This is one of the locations that receives highest precipitation, so it does make sense. There are some uphills and downhills, but usually the trail stays on the same level. The wooden board path definitely helps, but when it's not there, it can be slippery and wet. Uh, they're uh, trying to get their packs readjusted. That one's getting pretty tired and uh, pretty sore. We had to use duct tape, so see how the rest goes. We're there. Jump in the beach when I get there right away, whip off my clothes, whip off my shoes, and in the freaking freezing cold water. I'm just thirsty. We passed it pretty far back there. Um, then we got like three and a half kilometers of meadow and like small beach and stuff. We have an uphill part to do still. Oh, shit, this bridge. Oh man. My Swiss champ knife took a dunk through the crack of the bridge. How unfortunate. Well, uh, we lost both of our knives in this goddamn swamp. And he was trying to help me and then he lost his. And they're really deep and it's a swamp. I don't, oh my god. There is no bottom there. You're next, buddy. Well, there goes two knives and it's only day two. I hate hills. We got 4.2 kilometers left. So this is the turn off. We go to Nissan or Nels Blight and we're going to Nels, right? Bite. Hey. Bite. As we continued hiking, we ran into these abandoned Danish settlements from the 1900s. Many settlements attempted to live off the land, but the harsh weather beat them every time. My shoulder's killing me. There was a decent amount of bushwhacking until we reached the meadow. So I just collapsed. Well, guess what, Nathan? I am almost out. Let's do this. We can smell the ocean breeze. We had to be close. And finally, clearing was in sight. Oh, oh, I made it to Cape Scott! Go! 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 It was a great feeling. Seeing the open beach, the cool breeze was also really, really refreshing. Yeah. Finally, we finally made it. Look at that. Look, look at that. After all that hiking, it was definitely a relief. I hate uh, while, while um, Howard and I was uh, putting up tents, gathering firewood, Jimmy and Nathan went to like go actually filter doing, water. When they were doing something. Yeah, Jimmy and <laughs> Nathan went to go filter Only water. We were doing something. And you guys failed? And we failed. We couldn't even get anything. There's like, we were over there, there's not even one filtered, like one filtered bottle, which was four. And now you're afraid of dying from beaver fever. Wow. Wow. 
<laughs> wow. Actually, let's pour um, let's pour them all in. If I live, you guys will want hot chocolate and stuff. We got uh, one rice and chicken. Nice. And it's freaking warm and I'm cool. Ah! You know, it doesn't need much, just enough. Every morning Any last words, Mr. Sean? Uh, we got some filtered water uh, tonight and I'm going to bed early without everyone because I'm freaking tired so just later get out of here.